Hello everyone, in the past I made a video about how to import WebP file in Photoshop. Apparently newer version Photoshop did not support the old method as some of our viewers said that in the comments. And so I made a new video which is this one about explaining the new method which makes your Photoshop supports the WebP file in your desktop, I mean in your Photoshop. If you want to make that work in your Photoshop, you need to download an official plugin from the official Adobe website. I have given the link in the description below so you guys can download it from there. And once you have downloaded that plugin, you have to paste that plugin inside the shared creative cloud location. It's not actually a Photoshop program installed location, but it's a different folder, which will be created for Adobe library files, but in a different place on your local disk C as a default. But if you are already customized the location while installing your Photoshop or any other Adobe softwares, then you may have to identify where you have installed the folder that I am about to show you guys. You should paste the plugin in the correct folder path as I showed in this video, otherwise the plugin may not load inside the software. The WebP files will be only supported if the plugin is loaded properly. I also have mentioned for the folder path location for the Mac OS as well. The plugin will work on both Windows and Mac OS, but you should download Mac version plugin if you are using Mac PC. Once you successfully pasted the file, you can able to customize the WebP files and you can also save the image files as WebP format. You see, this is a great feature because a lot of websites and apps supports this format. But don't forget you have to restart your Photoshop after pasting your plugin. Otherwise it won't work. As you guys can see, I imported my WebP file and I'm right now customizing the text just like this. And I'm increasing the font size. It's not necessary, but I'm just showing you guys the results. Now I'm going to save this copy as WebP file and we can check the results, you know. Wow, I guess it worked. And so I hope this helps you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.